Hey, say hello to everybody, Murray. Hi, it's Furry Murray. He's doing a live broadcast. Look, there you are on the TV. Come here, baby. Come here. Hi, everybody. We're doing a live broadcast today to um, tell Murray's story. He's got a lot of new followers lately, and um, a lot of them don't know his story, and so we wanted to explain about that. I brought food to make sure he would hang out for the video, and um, he's a little anxious, if you can tell. They call that food motivated, right? So, hope there's a, a lot of people joining us. Um, really, like I said, we just wanted to, to tell his story. Um, people say, why is, he having, why is he having rehab? Why is he the doctor? Why is he doing the water treadmill? So we just wanted to show and explain why all that's going on. Come here, Murray. Come here, come to me. So um, the main reason when he was about one year old, he started having problems with his leg. And um, he was crying and he was um, not wanting to walk on it. And um, when we took him to the vet, they gave him some um, anti-inflammatory, said it was just strain or sprain or whatever. We did that for a while, but that didn't work out. Um, nothing improved. And so, anyway, after we did that a couple of times, they looked at him in the x-ray and they said that he had um, a problem in his hip area and that they believe that, and I wrote it down so I'd get it straight, but it's called leg calf pethase disease. It's, it's a genetic disease. And the little ball in um, the socket of his hip was crumbling. And so um, they needed to remove it. So they went in and they removed that, that ball that was crumbling and falling apart and poking him. And that um, surgery is called FHO surgery. It's femoral head ostotomy. I'm probably saying that wrong too. But it's FHO surgery and so he had to have that done. Hi, glad you're joining us. Um, so he had that done basically because um, he was in pain and that thing was, that um, so, uh, socket in there was crumbling and pretty soon he wouldn't be able to walk at all. So what we did was have this FHO surgery and they go in and, and remove that ball and then he has to rehab really hard. And when he rehabs really hard, it builds scar tissue and it forms a false joint. So that's what we did, and he and and if you if they go in and scoop that out, there was really nothing holding the leg in there. So if if they don't do the um, rehab, it, it was not going to work. So they have to rehab really hard. He had stretches to do. He had to do circle eight. He had to walk up and down an incline like on the driveway. He had to go to the water treadmill. He had to to work really hard on it. And when the when he went to the specialist, they realized he had it on both back legs. So he had to do it on one side, then he had to, as soon as he was able to uh, walk and uh, everything on the one side, then he had to do it on the other. So um, he was laid up pretty good for a while and um, bald on his whole back end. And so finally his hair's all grown back and he just had his last physical therapy session the other day. But right about the time that he was healing up really good, we realized he had a mass on his um, tail. And because he had this mass on his tail, it, it kept opening and it was really tight on his tail. It wasn't huge, it was maybe the, the end of your thumb size. But because of that, they couldn't just cut it off and so, you know, put it back together. There was just wasn't enough, it was too big. We went enough to bring it together. We went to the specialist too because I didn't believe that. I, I wanted him to fix it. Anyway, they said they had to amputate his tail. And they did. They took two vertebrae off his tail and they sent it off and it wasn't cancer. So now his tail is like a little piglet tail. There's hardly any flesh there. Now that it's been a while and his tail has grown out, it's pretty much all hair because there's no, there's no meat really there. You want your dental bone? I'll let you have that. Hold on. Well, can I open the package? Can I open the package? Sit. Hey, you're going nuts. Sit. Thank you. Thank you. 
Here's your, here's your dental one. You can eat that. Sit it right there. So anyway, so that explains what, what he's, the surgeries he's had. And um, so it's been like two years now. And it's two years of three surgeries, about $10,000 start to finish, rehab, all that. And now he just finished his last physical therapy and he just has to keep his weight in line and keep his muscles getting stronger and stronger. And um, other than that, he's, he's, he's pretty healthy and happy now. Thanks for joining us. Appreciate you coming in. Um, you know, he's got a YouTube channel now and he has a little trailer on there showing him running around and stuff and on the water treadmill and stuff. and. Anyway, so we just wanted to explain what was going on with him because lots of people ask why why is he having to do this? And I've got to tell you, we're going to we're gonna post this and we're gonna post a link because that was a lot of money and a lot of people told me to put him down. And it there was no way I was putting him down. And you can imagine ten thousand dollars on a one year old puppy suddenly that you weren't expecting. And I've never had pet insurance before. I have pet insurance now and I'm gonna I'm gonna post a link on the YouTube to the one we have and we have used it once worked I was so worried that I've been paying the premiums and it wasn't gonna work it did it went smooth as silk and now I'm gonna be following it on Sophie y'all you probably see me talking about Sophie that she's got uh, some dental problems and needs two root canals that's gonna cost six to seven thousand dollars well we've got a policy on her and um, we have to pay 10% and the 250 deductible. So out of that, if it's the max 7,000, we'll be at about $950. So um, I wish I'd had that when Murray had his surgery, but I, and what I was reading the other day was like only 2% of people have uh, pet insurance on their dog. Somebody's talking to us here and I can't read, let me see. Yeah, well, I'm not really amazing. I just love my dog, and there was just no way that um, I was going to put him down. Um, so, you know, but but that's a lot of money, and I didn't have that money. I had just had cancer, and my bank account was pretty withdrawn from all my medical problems, and so it was a struggle. I mean, we had garage sales. We sold stuff. We've got advances. We got, I mean, you name it, we did it trying to come up with all the money to get him those surgeries. And, um, you know, we even, in the end, we ended up kind of doing a, a donation thing and asking for some help because uh, we were... We had gotten through it all, but he still needed more physical therapy. And we were worried, you know, if, if, if he doesn't get enough, then he wasn't going to be able to, you know, function well. And at this point, he still sits kind of funny. I don't, you probably can't tell here, but he sits with one leg diagonal under him and the other one straight out. And he still sits that way. And the um, surgeon says that's just how he's comfortable that, you know, hey, he walks fine, he runs fine. He's even um, in a class where he's jumped about uh, six or eight foot, uh, eight foot, eight inch uh, little little jumps in class. And so he's doing great. And as long as he keeps doing that, keeps his weight, he'll be, he'll be good to go. And he got his teeth cleaned just the other day too. So he is good to go. But we just wanted to let everybody know about people keep asking about it so we just wanted to explain what was going on with them and also to say please think about pet insurance I don't want other people ending up in a situation like we were in you don't want to have to choose between um, taking care of your dog and feeding your kids you know you I mean that's just a horrible thing um, for somebody to have to do and we don't want anybody to be in that situation and Like I say, we'll post this video and we're also going to post a link to the pet insurance He has and we are super super happy with them and they've done a great job for us and um, um, I wish we had had it before because now um, his leg thing is um, pre-existing so if anything comes up on that in the future that won't be covered so I really wish we had done it earlier but um, you can be smarter than me and you can get it for your dog now before something happens. Um, every time I know somebody something happens, I tell them about it. And I, like I say, I, I don't know if I said this earlier, but I read online that like only 2%, it was telling how many, you know, 
dogs are in the U.S. And it said, even though it's on the rise, that only 2% of pets have pet insurance. And so that means the rest of us are struggling when something major happens and you you know you want to take care of your family your furry family member and maybe you don't have the money to do that so anyway so you can check it out the one that that he has and or or check out others but please check into it and think about it because i don't wish that on anybody i really don't it was it was very hard and very stressful and we're just uh just kind of getting out from all of that let's see somebody's talking to you murray you see yourself right there? Um, yeah, it is. It's really important. And I, I had never had the, this kind of um, monetary issues with a pet before, so I had never done it. I really didn't know. And uh, now I do. And so, I, you know, that's why I'm real happy with the one I have. And I, you know, I'm going to share the information. But if that's not the one for you, check on other ones because... Um, like I say, you don't want to have to decide between paying your mortgage payment and having to put your dog down because, um, you know, something unexpected suddenly came up. And um, so um, think about it. Check it out. Learn about it. Um, it's pretty it's, it's pretty valuable, I think. Um, I was just, you know, telling somebody the other day about it, and they were like, eh. And then it was a few months later something happened. It was $1,200 for them. Um, and I was like, oh man, I, you know, so anyway, that's it. We just wanted to check in with everybody. Murray, look at yourself right there. Say, say goodbye to everybody. Look right here. There you are. Okay. Well, we're going to go. Glad to have, um, everybody there. We're going to post this on YouTube with a link. Go check us out. The Furry Murray Network. Subscribe. Uh, he's got a lot of videos on there talking about healthy food, talking about, um, Go into the, the bath, uh, the do-it-yourself bath, and how fun that can be at the, the store. And um, let me think, what else? Mm, oh, he's got some unboxing videos talking about the subscription sites and stuff like that. Bye. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for checking us out. Um, so he's got about six videos on there. Check it out and um, subscribe. Click the bell for notifications, and we'll be putting more cool stuff on there, uh, more information. Um, always fun to learn more stuff about your dog. So, thanks. Bye, friends. Say bye. See you. Bye. <laughs> bye, everybody.